Okay, we are at 34.5 Huygens principle. Uh, oops, wrong. Let me get my notes. And where are they? Here it is. There it is. All right, let's go. Let's go to the uh, uh, PowerPoint Huygens principle. All points on a given wave front are taken as point sources for the production of spherical secondary waves called wavelets that propagate outward through a medium with speeds characteristic of waves in that medium. After some time, in, in, after some time interval has passed, the new position of the wave front is the surface tangent to the wavelets. Um, so let's look at what he means. So we have a uh, wave front here, A, A prime, uh, and uh, we've got some, we, if we look at what he says, uh, all points are taken as point sources. So we're looking at three point sources here. One, two, three. There are many of them. We're just picking three so that the uh, image doesn't get too, too, uh, too cluttered. So from, from this uh, point source, we have this uh, wavelet. From this point source, we have this wavelet. And from this point source, we have this wavelet. Uh, and that this wave front, the new wave front is uh, a distance of C delta T. Uh, the speed of light times the time will give you the, uh, a new wave front, the position of the new wave front. So that's up for a plane wave. Now we're going to look at a spherical wave. Uh, you know, you can imagine the point source here, and it goes out. These are the uh, the new point sources. So there's its wavelet, 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 and wavelet. So here's the new wave front. So we're going to use this to um, uh, analyze, uh, to come up with the, the law of reflection and the law of reflect, uh, re, uh, refraction from a geometrical, geometrical standpoint. Now there's some, you'll notice here and in the other one, there's going to be some, some text appearing before the uh, I hit the space bar, the, the arrow, because there's, I had to correct the uh, publisher's uh, PowerPoint. So uh, we've got two rays, one and two, and at the point that A hits the reflecting surface, B is up here, uh, still on its way to the reflecting surface. After a time delta T, uh, A has reflected, and now it has created a wavelet at D. B is a new point source, and it's got a wavelet at C. Um, so if you look at, now these are congruent, uh, congruent triangles because they both share the, um, they both share the uh, same hypotenuse, AC. So you've got a triangle ABC, and you've got a uh, triangle ADC. And you can see they both share AC as their, as their hypotenuse. And um, let's look at the analysis. Cosine of gamma is equal to BC over AC, the adjacent over the um, hypotenuse. And then cosine gamma prime, this is gamma prime, that's equal to AD, the adjacent, over the hypotenuse AC. Uh, and gamma is equal to 90 uh, minus. Uh, 90 degrees minus theta one, and gamma prime is equal to 90 degrees uh, minus uh, theta one prime. Now, because AD, AD equals BC, cosine of gamma equals cosine of gamma prime. And uh, that means that gamma equals gamma prime, um, 90 minus one, uh, gamma is equal to 90 minus 1 equals 90 minus, I'm, I said 90 minus 1. Gamma is equal to 90 degrees minus theta 1, and gamma prime is equal to 90 degrees minus theta 1 prime. So since gamma is equal to gamma prime, uh, 90 degrees minus theta 1 equals 90 degrees minus uh, theta, uh, uh, theta 1 prime. And that gives you that theta one is equal to theta one prime, which is the law of reflection. Now let's go on. You see, there's the other error. I had to fix that. They had it reverse v two over v one. Uh, now we're looking at, at instead of reflection, we're looking at refraction. 
And so we can see that we've got a incident wave here at one and it go at point A, it enters a new media. Uh, so at V1 here, V2 in the new media, here is an, uh, another ray uh, that's all in air and then here it's, it's uh, in the media. Now, once it hits here, uh, it's V2, the velocity in this media times delta T. Um, here we have the speed of light times delta T. You can see BC is much longer than AD. So the sine of theta one is equal to BC, um, BC over the hypotenuse, BC over AC. Well, BC is V1, the velocity of light times delta T. And sine theta two, here's theta two, it's equal to AD over AC. Uh, AC being the hypotenuse, AD is the, the velocity uh, two times delta T. This is velocity one times delta T. This is velocity two times delta T. Um, so if we divide sine theta one by sine theta two, you'll see you'll the uh, the AC will will cancel and the delta T's will cancel and we'll get V1 uh, over V2. So sine theta one divided by sine theta two gives you V1 uh, V2. And that equals uh, C over uh, N1 divided by C over N2, which equals, um, because those are both in the denominator, you end up with N2 uh, divided by N1. So the ratio of sine theta 1 to sine theta 2 is equal to N2 to N1. Uh, and if you cross multiply, you'll see you get, you get N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2, which is uh, Snell's law in the uh, Snell's law of re refraction, and that's it for uh, Huygens' principle. We'll go on to dispersion next time.